G'day everyone and happy Easter or whatever equivalent uh, holiday it is in your part of the world. For today's video of course we are going to be drawing a rabbit. This is a wild rabbit that I photographed a few years ago now and I thought it would make a nice colourful piece with the vibrant green grass in the background and the rabbit in the foreground allowing me to be a bit rough and sketchy on this Cancer Matons paper as you know I like to do if you have followed my channel for a while. So I am of course starting with the background that is really the way you should do things if you're going to include a background in your piece. It's much easier to pop in a background first and then work your main part of your piece in over the top of your background. So I'm going in with I think about four different greens here as well as a little bit of dark blue I think I used and go adding those dark areas in before adding in my bright greens. Now this grass is actually quite a vibrant sort of lime green because it is backlit in the sun and it just stands out quite brightly. So I'm being very messy with it as you can tell I'm not following my reference photo really except for colour and shadow and I'm just really wanting to get the impression of what's in the background rather than drawing what's in the background if that makes sense. I don't want the background to be the main focus. I want it to have some texture and detail but it's there to complement my rabbit. It's not there to do its own thing and draw too much attention from the rabbit. So I'm not really sure if I've achieved that with this background but you know I'm just giving it a go. I'm not worrying too much about it. This is only a quick little piece for Easter so it's always fun to experiment with colour and technique and different pencils. So I am using multiple pencil brands here. I'm using some Derwent Colorsoft which is that, I don't know what the colour's called, but it's sort of a bright lime green colour. I'm using the Derwent Drawing Chinese White and I'm using some Polychromos colours as well as some other Derwent Colour Soft and I think one uh, Caran d'Ache Luminance Pencil so or a Derwent Light Fast. So I'm using a little bit of everything. I just sort of looked at my reference photo, went over to my pencil drawers and just uh, grabbed a few different colours out without really doing a proper study of what colours I would use and I thought I would just be able to make it work with those colours. So that's what I've actually done today. I haven't done a thorough study of which colours should I use for what. I just grabbed out what looks like likely colours for each area and I'm going in with what I grabbed and making the best of it. So done on that side of the background moving over to the left which I probably should have done first just for ease of working but you know best laid plans and just going in the same as I did on the other side laying in those different areas of colour and working in my large patch of lime green and adding details in over the top once I've got those base colours in. So with the cotton bud that I'm using for blending I'm not putting anything on that when I use it to blend out I'm just using that dry so there's no mineral spirits or anything on that. I don't use uh, liquid solvents in that way with colour pencil. So the Cancer and Matons, uh, because it's a textured paper colour pencil blends out reasonably well on uh, most textured papers rather than on smooth papers where it doesn't really blend out as easily with a dry blender in that regard. So finishing up with the background it is now time to move on to the rabbit. So I started pretty um, conservatively with the colours on the rabbit. I didn't want to go in too heavy or too dark too fast so I was just kind of mapping in different areas of colour where I could see really distinct patches that I thought I would sort of need to keep. So some of the more uh, tan or ready, ready orange colours and some of the darker areas uh, and the dark shadows, some white rims and highlights and just mapping in those different areas before focusing on anything in particular. And I find that sort of helps me to build up um, the strength of the colour throughout the whole rabbit rather than going in too strong too early in just one section and not being able to correct it. So I've mainly focused on the body there and then moved on to the head 
and I can get that all laid in and more detail before going back to the body. So as with the body, I'm mapping out sort of areas of dark and light and different color patches and really putting them in very, very roughly. I'm not uh, doing strict fur texture. I'm just sort of scribbling my colors and laying that color in and detailing the eye as well. Now the eye in my reference photo is very different to my drawing. The rabbit in my reference photo that I photographed in the wild was actually unwell with myxomatosis and you can tell from the uh, swollen eyelids in the reference photo. So I made sure I changed the eye on my drawing to make it wide and open and bright so that it looked like a beautiful, happy, healthy bunny. So just blending out with the cotton bud again just to soften up all those uh, scribblings of colour before going in again to make those colour differences stronger, making my darks darker and my lights lighter and just really making those colours pop and making those details and definition the features of the rabbit stand out. So like I said I'm being quite scribbly, I'm not worried too much about getting a perfectly smooth texture or getting a really detailed fur texture on the face because it's not meant to be a highly detailed realistic drawing, it's just meant to be a realistic impression of a rabbit. So if this is a style that I really like to work in really loose and quick and I find it really helps me to develop those um, skills with uh, using like colour theory and light and dark in terms of how contrasty an image should be and how much shadow and how much light there should be in an image. So that's something that I find is much easier to practice on these quicker pieces than it is on a very large detailed piece because I can do more quicker pieces like this and I really focus in and try different things like adding in purple into the rabbit's fur and doing that quite strongly without being too afraid of doing it like I would be on a larger piece where I might go in a little bit more hesitantly. So that's something that I really love for these quicker pieces as well and it helps to develop I feel ways of uh, giving the impression of detail without having to draw the detail. So something like that is a skill unto itself even though it's messier there's still a skill in getting that mess I suppose to look like a realistic animal. So that's something that I all that I challenge you all to try at some point is to work on something that's less detailed and less of that fine highly detailed realistic pet portrait style work and to do more um, impression wildlife type you know even just bold colors and bold strokes and not worrying too much about it being clean and tidy so it's really it's a lot of fun and it really helps you develop different skills and your eye for different aspects of uh, drawing from reference photos so as you can see I finished the head and the face and those beautiful little ears. I love the colors in those ears and I've moved back to the body and I've really darkened up under the neck and under the front legs. We're scribbling in a lot of purple and adding in a lot of colors there and strengthening that up and making that a little bit more textured fur wise because there's larger fur strands there which are going to stand out more than the fur strands on the face. So from there moving on to the back of the body and refining those areas. I find this um, grey colour from the Derwent Colour Soft Raid actually smooths out a lot of the other pencils really really nicely. Obviously it applies sort of a grey wash to those colours but it's a really nice pencil for smoothing. So I've added some blue into the side of the rabbit there and that's really helped sort of pull it together a little bit more with the way the lighting is hitting this rabbit in my reference photo and it makes it gives a really nice effect so as you can see my rabbit in my drawing is you know not like my reference photo it's it's the same rabbit but with the same sort of l the light coming from the same direction but I've really altered sort of how it looks in terms of the fur pattern and just how emphasized my shadows are and those different aspects of the drawing. 
So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I upload a new art video every single week. And I do hope that you enjoy your Easter weekend if you do celebrate Easter. And I hope that you get to enjoy some time to draw or be creative. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Stay creative.